Hello and welcome. We are talking exclusively today to Jim Peterson, the former CEO and chairman of Micro Semi and current executive chairman of Mobix Labs, and also Fabian Battaglia, the CEO of Mobix Labs as well. And Mobix is a fast rising leader in the semiconductor industry with a focus on military, defense, aerospace, and secure communications, including 5G applications. So I'm looking forward to an update, Jimmy. Let's start with you. Uh, you've had an incredible journey in the tech industry, particularly with your success at Micro Semi, which you sold for over $10 billion. Can you share some key insights from that experience that influenced your decision to be executive chairman at Mobix Labs? Sure. Um, one thing we learned at Micro Semi is there are a tremendous amount of, of properties uh, and companies that are looking for strategic partners. Um, strategic partners that have, let's just say, experience and intelligence to take them to the next level. Um, they come in various life cycles. A lot of these companies are 20, 30 years old um, that we acquire and we integrate. And, and the point is anybody can acquire. The key to success is how you integrate. That makes a lot of sense. And then for investors who are new to the company, uh, share a little bit about Mobix Labs' vision, um, also what makes the company unique in the semiconductor space. Sure. Uh, Fabulous Semiconductor Company, located in sunny Southern California, Orange County to be specific. Uh, our focus, military aerospace defense, and we have a great desire to create next generation um, RF and millimeter wave communications um, products. Okay, and then uh, Fabian, let's bring you in here. I mean, with these significant expenditures in, in military and in defense sectors and the developing shift toward 5G, um, it seems like Mobix is at an inflection point, at, at a very kind of crucial crux as we explore these new technologies, uh, your revenues increased more than 450% from the prior year. Are you looking to enter into other strategic sectors? Are you limiting growth to military, defense, and those kinds of areas? Well, <clears throat> military and defense is, is definitely a focus for us, and it's been a growth factor for us. But we're not limited only to aerospace and defense. You know, our core technology, we founded the company on 5G millimeter wave technology, which uh, fits very well into data communications, wireless communication specifically. And, and that is an area that we expect to grow, but we're not limited there. We're seeing some very interesting applications in automotive. Uh, we are also seeing some interesting applications in medical as well. Um, with with the advancements and and what we're seeing here in AI, and uh, we think that's just at the very beginning mm -hmm. of the growth cycle of AI, it's going to require um, applications that are going to require that are very data intensive are going to need the type of technologies that we're developing. And again, it's not limited to aerospace and defense, but other applications as well, autonomous vehicles and, and the like. Very, very data intensive, and our technology fits very well in those areas. Yeah. Um, no, all these kind of emerging technologies, it feels like there's so much on the horizon here. Um, Fabian, are there any milestones or achievements that have significantly impacted Mobix's financial performance lately? Well, as you know, our, our strategy is not only to develop internally, uh, it's the same strategy we had at Micro Semi. So we're going to grow organically, and we're also going to grow through M&A, just as Jimmy had referenced. So we're always looking for assets that will uh, in, increase our visibility or increase our footprint into the applications, the customers that we're working with. So I, I would say that you know the two acquisitions that we have completed and as Jimmy referenced, the challenges integrating, we have done that very well. And that reflects with the growth that you've seen quarter to quarter this year. And you mentioned M&A. So, Jimmy, let's talk about this offer uh, to acquire MCore Technologies, a NASDAQ-listed company here at the NASDAQ right now, uh, $3.80 a share. Um, how would a company like MCore be a strategic acquisition for Mobix? Yeah. MCore is an interesting life cycle. They have a, a tremendous opportunity with their with their next generation products. Uh, with what they're lacking is a strategic partner. Um, you know, companies have life cycles, and, and they're in a life cycle right now where they need strategic thinkers to help them get to the next generation. And um, 
we're not a private equity. We're a strategic partner. Mm. And as we look at our acquisitions and our, our roadmap, you know, we continuously have between three and five opportunities identified. Um, MCOR is just but one of those opportunities, but uh, they're, they're unique. They have on our ballot, I think, 70 to $80 million worth of revenue, um, extremely low margins. And, and I think their yields need some enhancements. So our offer to them is, is, is you know, I think a major premium to what they were trading for, but more importantly to their employees, we can take that vision that they have to the next level. Mm. So uh, as investors take a look at Mobix Labs, what can you share about the growth potential? Sure. Um, essentially, in a sense, it's kind of like wash, rinse, repeat. There, there are no less than hundreds to thousands of companies out there with revenues between, let's say, $10 million and $150 million dollars that often find themselves in a situation, whether it be a private company who would prefer to turn the business over to their family members and their family members have no interest. So they're looking for a strategic partner. It could be one with a larger company and they just stumbled over some technologies. Um, maybe perhaps they forgot how to open up some doors. Um, we're, we're a unique opportunity. Um, our management team, we've been there, we've done that. Um, in this particular case, Mobix Labs, we have a, a CEO named Fabian Battaglia. And, and don't tell Fabian this, but Fabian is actually a field application engineer with a CEO title. So <laughs> one of the strengths we have as a company is we know how to get into the labs yes. of, of, of our future customers and to take them to the next level as well. Uh, Fabian, let's bring you in here. I didn't know you were an engineer. This is the best kind of CEOs I found. So um Talk to me about the team and um, who's the team around you? Why are they crucial to the future of Mobix? Well, the, the strength of the company are the people. And, and as Jimmy has referenced, the people that we have are, are very experienced, but not, not only experienced, but accomplished. So what we're doing is we're taking that experience and that accomplishment and we're applying it here to Mobix Labs and what we have uh, done in the past is ex we're executing exactly to the playbook or the strategy that we set forth from the very beginning. So we're very strong technically, but we also know how to look externally for assets that will make us even stronger. And, and that's what we're doing. So we're, we're executing on that strategy. We're doing what we say we're going to do. How do you see partnerships and collaborations contributing to the future success? Uh, very, very important. So partnerships are are crucial to us, um, as is evidence with the acquisition of Rage Systems. Uh, Rage Systems was a customer, and that's how we became familiar with them. Uh, they have some uh, outstanding technology and outstanding capabilities, and uh, there's a perfect example of uh, the type of company that Jimmy was referencing, that private and connected with us with the team that we have will will strengthen both parties and provide more value to our customers. And Jimmy, let, let's wrap it up with you as somebody who built MicroSemi into a multi-billion dollar business through mergers and acquisitions in part at least. Um, how do you see those activities of being of strategic importance to Mobix going forward? Well, I think it's interesting to note that, you know, Mobix Labs in a sense is wash rinse, repeat. Um, we brought a lot of the team back together, essentially the band. Um, and, and why do we bring the band back together? Because we make darn good music as a band. Um, we're not afraid of diversification. We know technology is important, but more important, we know this is a people sport. So we're unifying technology with people and bringing back a lot of our, 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 our family um, to the equation. And, um, and when you have family involved in it, sometimes you give it that extra effort. Yeah. Well, you're certainly the company is on the cutting edge of technology with all these emerging things that are happening in the future. So thank you so much, Fabian and Jimmy, for coming and giving me this update on Mavix. Great to see you. Great. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, thank you Jane.